Sarah Ferguson could soon be dropping more royal bombshells, this time about Harry and Meghan. Fergie is set to answer questions about the Sussexes when she begins promoting her new novel next month. It comes as royal insiders reveal Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will attend the King's coronation in May. Harry hasn't been back to the UK since the Queen's funeral back in September. The Mirror's royal editor, Russell Myers, joins me now. Morning to you. Let's go first to Fergie's book tour. She's known for putting her foot in it. How close is she with the Sussexes? What does she know? Well, morning that. I mean, it's fair thought for the royal family because they thought they'd heard it all with uh, with Harry's book and Harry and Meghan's Netflix series. And now here we have Fergie on the other side of the pond, apparently going to do a Q&A at her book tour. Uh, a most intriguing lady is the uh, is the title, the very apt title of it. And on March the 6th, she'll be at the New York Culture Club, uh, apparently spilling the beans about Harry and Meghan. So, uh, I mean, how close is she? I mean, we, we still, still do know that obviously her daughters, both Princess uh, Beatrice and, and Eugenie still talk to Harry. Eugenie especially is very, very close with Harry. So, you know, let's wait and see. I'd love to be on the fly on the wall and maybe get a ticket myself. Yes, it should be popular. Now, Harry, of course, hasn't been back to England since he started trashing the royal family in the, the book and the, the, the doco. How do you think he and Meghan are going to be received? Is it possible that they could be booed by a crowd? Well, anything's possible, isn't it? I mean, they didn't get a great reception during the uh, the Jubilee celebrations last summer. There were some boos in the crowd. There were also some boos outside uh, St Paul's Cathedral for Boris Johnson as well. So um, who knows? I mean, they, they've definitely split opinion, uh, certainly over the last few months and couple of years. So anything is, uh, is on the cards, really. But I'm told, you know, just in the last couple of days that Harry and Meghan, uh, despite the royal family expecting them to come, they are saying that they haven't made any plans at the moment they're still undecided so it's certainly harry wants uh, to bring his father and his brother to the table and, and wants some sort of apology so you know he might be waiting a very long time before that comes i think okay it's been revealed this morning the queen consort will wear a modified version of queen mary's crown to the coronation the crown will not feature the the koh-i-noor diamond that controversial diamond what's behind that well, it's interesting. I mean, it's a, it's an, it's a convenient sidestep by Camilla, I think, because this Coronel Diamond uh, sort of steeped in history, but steeped in controversy as well. And certainly the, the um, Indian Premier has said that the British should uh, own up to their responsibilities and, uh, and face up to facts that it does belong in India, this diamond. So she's going to be wearing uh, Queen Mary's crown. It's been taken out of the Tower of London in the, uh, in the last couple of days to be re remodified. And, uh, and uh, fitting in with Prince Charles or King Charles' uh, sustainability model, I think. But uh, I'm not sure how sustainable you can be whilst wearing a, a crown full of diamonds, to be honest. Yeah. OK, thank you, Russell.